Hey everyone, welcome back to the All Pro Show. I'm Captain V and I'm going to take you on a little bit of a ride today. We're going to discuss a little bit about the new All Pro baits and some new All Pro tackle that were coming out this year. We're going to introduce it at the All Pro Show February 17th and February 18th. But before we go there, I want to talk about a vendor. A vendor that's going to be there. And that's Butch's Hot Sauce. Now... You're going to say, what does hot sauce have to do with fishing? I mean, why would a hot sauce vendor be at the All Pro Show? I'm going to tell you the answer. Absolutely nothing. Hot sauce has nothing to do with fishing. Zero to do with fishing. But for some reason, this genius by the name of Butch, who makes this hot sauce came to the show last year in 2018 because he knew that for some reason fishermen eat hot sauce and a lot of it and crazy stuff, insane stuff. Now, Butch is what we call a sneaker vendor. A sneaker vendor are those vendors that the attendees have to wear sneakers because you're going to be standing online so long you got to make yourself comfortable. Because this guy is going to have a line that's out the door. He did last year. He's going to do it again this year. I just want to give you a little bit of a warning. I just want to talk a little, a little bit about his products. Because this guy is insane. I don't know how he does it. I don't know. I think there must be a rule or something that has to be on here how he does it or something like that. But his stuff is great absolutely great you got reaper's revenge ah! Ah! stuff is crazy good and what makes it crazy good is that it goes on everything you know it's not like a uh another hot sauce that you put it on chicken okay uh, it's not like another condiment like mustard. You know, mustard goes on uh, hot dogs or maybe a knish. A uh, ketchup might go on like a hamburger or some french fries. I'm not kidding you. This stuff goes on everything. You're talking poultry, meat, fish. It go, You put it on everything. You put it with a little vodka. You're making yourself a cocktail. The stuff is just great. And what's great about it is that the flavor hits you. It lets you know that you're alive. <laughs> but then it subsides. Really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. We have bitching. There's a name, reason why they call this stuff bitching. Okay? Because that's the way you're going to feel. Okay? You're going to you're going to eat some of this and you're going to your back's going to you know straighten up a bit there you're going to be feeling pretty good cuz a flavor is like a taste bud awakening okay good stuff you got to try that i'm sure butch is going to have a bunch of like samples out that you're going to be able to test and try that's really super stuff barbecue garlic i mean really let me just shut up because could you put, you know, any two words together that, that, that could be better? I mean, is that a marriage? Barbecue? Garlic? I mean, really, seriously, you could eat, put this on anything, eat this with anything. Great stuff. I'm not talking about my wife here. Okay. So don't, don't go there. I'm not talking about a bad hair day. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, a damaged nail. I'm talking about Hell's Fury. Maybe it's not as bad as a hair day, okay? Maybe not, okay? Because I see my wife sometimes, you know, it, it could get kind of crazy, all right? But this stuff, Hell's Fury, this is for the fishermen. This is for the guys that run offshore. This is for the guys who don't care how big the waves are. And they come back and say, yeah, you know, our 10-footers. And we're on our 22-foot, you know, uh, boat. And we, we ran through those. We didn't care. Ooh. Hey, Hell's Fury. It was made for us guys, you know. I mean, I'm right there with you. And um, my favorite, 
peach habanero. Peach habanero. Just really, really good stuff. The problem with peach habanero is that it should come with something like this. Because if you're going to eat this, you're going to want this. I mean, that's how good this stuff is. I mean, it is great stuff. Now, I also noticed that Butch has a problem. And that's what I mean. I'm a problem solver. I'm a problem solver for everybody. Because, you know, Butch, he makes this stuff. He packages it. Hey, again, another product right made here in our local community, right here in New Jersey, all right? It's right here. It's not like he sends this out and gets it shipped in, you know? Who knows where Heinz ketchup comes from? You know, they say Pennsylvania, I think. But who knows where it comes from, right? We know we know where Butch lives, right? We know where he is. We can find Butch at any time. He's making hot sauce, okay? But his problem is that he makes these in five-ounce uh, jars. And once you taste his stuff, Butch... You got to be making the stuff in big bulk jars. I mean, you got to be making the stuff where we can open it up and just take it down. That's how good this stuff is. You got to try it out. Butch is going to be there. He's going to be towards the, the front or so of the show. Get your sneakers on. Get ready to meet Butch. Tell him uh, Vince said hi. And, um, you know... Enjoy the better things in life. I mean, the stuff is great. I'm glad that he's uh, going to be there and uh, he's going to be able to uh, provide you with some great product. Uh, real quickly, bands. We're going to be uh, having these bands at the All Pro Show. It says, uh, I support Hooks for Heroes. Uh, great, great organ charitable organization. Just great charitable organization. You buy some raffle tickets where 100% of the proceeds will go to Hooks for Heroes. And um, you're going to be getting uh, these bands. I want you to see something here. My sacrifice. Um, they want to shoot pictures of the bracelet on me, uh, but they said for some reason they didn't like the uh, the coating that I had on my arms here. They didn't enjoy appreciate the Italian uh, blanket that I have automatically uh, from birth, basically, um, on my arms. So they made me shave. So now who knows how long I'm going to be walking around with a half arm of uh, hair like this? But you know what? Uh, it's nothing, absolutely zilch, nothing, zinc, boom, pfft. compared to what these men and women do every day, you know, what the military does every day, what the uh, police department do every day, the fire department, I mean, they sacrifice, they truly sacrifice, and, uh, it's time for us to give back. It's time for us to recognize, you know, uh, how wonderful they are. And I'm proud that I could give a, uh, that I have an opportunity to do that. And I want everyone to come back. If not for anything else, I don't even care. If you don't like fishing, it doesn't matter. I don't like fishing. Come to the show. They're going to have police boats there and hook and ladder trucks there and police vehicles there. The Coast Guard's going to be there. This is going to be a lot of stuff. It's just going to be great. The DJ's going to be playing, you know, patriotic musical themed songs and everything. It's going to be really good. Come out there. Let me get to some of the products. I don't want this to run two hours, this, this uh, version episode of the All Pro Show. Real quick. This year, what we got going on is our uh, brand new, our brand new um, Swinger uh, Series Bucktail. It's a one ounce Bucktail. This year, they'll also be in three ounces. So it's really, really super good. Uh, so you can, for those who want to fish a little bit of a heavier bucktail, I'm a light guy. I mean, I'll fish this thing in 60 feet of water. You know, uh, that's just how I am. I, I, I fish them uh, real real quick. I don't let them scope out too far. I bring them up, I fish. You know, it's like I do it. Uh, but these this year, we improved the hook. We went to a 7-0 hook. Again, these move all over the place. You get plenty of action with them. This is on our brand new grub. This grub is just came in. This is called our um, Spearing Green. Spearing green uh, has a little bit of a sparkle in there. The photo will drop down. You're going to see it. Hopefully, you'll be able to see some of the sparkles. We put a lot of thought into these, uh, and I think you're going to really like it. They come in these different colors and different weights this year. Here's an interesting one. This one here we call it Sea Robin. Some people might say, hey, that kind of looks a little bit like a salmon. And you know what? You'd be right because it's the exact match to the Berkeley salmon. Exact match, and we have a custom grub that's also going to be coming in that's uh, a match for this head. Um, 
again, it's going to be a, um, a swing tail. Uh, and I'm hoping that we're going to have those grubs in within the next, you know, a day or so. And they'll start packaging them up. And maybe I can show you, you know, what that grub would look like on there. We also have, uh, you know, we're going to have them in uh, three-eighths of an ounce. These three-eighths of an ounce are really cool. They're the perfect little teasers. They come with a little smaller hook, a 5-0. You use them on your, your chicken uh, <clears throat> rigs. Uh, some people want to double them up. Uh, some people want to put them out on three ways. Uh, they're just perfect. We have these teaser grubs that we would use. And the teaser grubs uh, could be put right on these. And uh, really fabulous stuff. Other thing I want to show you that's going to be only available starting uh, at the show. We're going to introduce the All-American Stink. Now, last year we came out with our first version of the American Stink. We saw there was a lot of promise, so we improved on it. We got better packaging. We increased the scent. These are really cool stuff. These are made uh, double-scented, so they're made with some scent in them. Okay, but then we used a chemist that formulated... Um, a scent that uh, actually coats the grub, and these grubs can actually absorb uh, this water-soluble oil, which is like, you know, some miracle thing. I didn't even know you could do that. But you'll notice that there's no separation. You know, our oil actually blends with the scent. So it's not like vinegar and water type of thing where it's separated. Uh, it comes together. And that's what fish could smell, and that's what we're going to deliver here. This is the sun pepper. It's chartreuse and uh, pearl white with some speckle. Um, last year, scent, no scent, didn't matter. We got such great reviews on this. I think we got like 10,000 of these uh, that uh, were made this, uh, this past fall. So uh, great, great stuff. Love that one. Here you go. We've got Glow. Who doesn't love Glow? Everybody loves Glow. It seems like everyone catches fish on Glow. We've got Glow. Again, these are the big daddy six inches. They actually go as big as maybe, I think when you stretch them out, I think they go out to like almost nine inches, eight inches. Uh, they're great. And the action, insane. Oh, oh wait. It's not fair that, that there's a camera here because you got to look at this. You got to feel it. You, you got to see them up close. Spearing green. Oh, my God. Great stuff. It's in it. You know, we got in. Hey, if you're on the North Shore, even on the South Shore, the back bays, who doesn't like bubblegum swirl? That bubblegum pink with that uh, pearl swirl. Great stuff. Great stuff. And so close to my heart is our watermelon. Um, may resemble a nuclear uh, chicken to some people uh, because it, it pretty much is. Uh, it's great. It works. For some reason, the fluke love this pattern. Uh, everything seems to love this pattern. We get we get stripers on this. We got uh, pictures of people catching uh, sea bass on them. Uh, it's just whatever it has a tail. Uh, we last year someone got a cobia on one. I mean, so it's 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 crazy stuff. Crazy good stuff. Before I go, I want to talk a little bit about on. February 17th, they're going to be the workshop, okay? The workshop is kind of our spinoff on a seminar where we bring in some really good captains, really good captains. And I'm going to be honest with you, we get people calling up and they say, oh, we'd like to, you know, do the show and stuff like that. And we love these people. I mean, we love the energy from these people, but we need to like, we, we handpick, you know, certain people that we think could present to you guys uh, in an educational format with the right energy um, a, a particular topic. So we got some great guys coming, but this year what we've done is just for coming to the workshop, all you got to do is show up at the workshop, right? You, you, you buy your ticket online. That's another thing. Buy your ticket online. Last year, people were coming to the door. We didn't sell them at the door. This year, we're selling them at the door, but they're more money at the door. So don't come to the door to buy your tickets. More money. Go online. You can save $25 if you go online to buy your ticket. Then if you buy, I think, something like two or more tickets, you're saving even more money on that. It's it's crazy. So please, do. I hate to see people spending extra money. You know, do the right thing. Get online. Um, www.com allproexpo.com 
Uh, if you go down towards the bottom there, you'll see where there's a whole list of all topics. They may change depending on the interest, but there's going to be at least like 20 topics that you could choose from. So it's fresh, it's new. Uh, everyone who comes to the workshop will get either a visor or a hat. We got some hats that are not even in yet. We designed these new hats. They're very cool. They're all pro hats. Uh, they're going to be there. Some guys uh, don't like the visor. You know, they got the chrome dome up here and, uh, you know, they don't like to like uh, get hot on top of me. I'm a visor guy, so I like the visor. This year, we're giving away. Yup, giving away means freebie, okay? You come to the workshop, a tackle box here. Um, this tackle box has a value of at least $35. If you got a calculator, you do it yourself, retail, blah, 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 it's close to $40, $45. Let me show you what's gonna be in here so you have a little bit of a tease, you know what's going on. So what we did is we packed you guys up some really cool stuff. Most underrated grub, okay? Real fishermen, real fluke fishermen, the guys who get the 10, 12 pound uh, fluke like all the time, this is it. A lot of people for some reason go with certain calls, including me, I'm not a little different, okay? But you go to Nantucket, you know, up in Rhode Island, Massachusetts, <clears throat> out in Montauk, this blue and pearl sparkle, it's like the killer out there. Uh, a lot of people are using it. We actually have a matching uh, bucktail that goes with this as well. So that's going to be in this box. Electric chicken. Electric chicken, been around for quite some time. Not my name, kind of an industry name. It's a bubblegum pink. It's green, has some sparkles. Tough, tough uh, grub. Very popular. Catches many fish. Here's the one I mentioned earlier before that's really kind of crazy. This is that sun pepper, the chartreuse, and the um, the pearl white. Again, hopefully they'll drop some photos in here where you'll get some close-ups as I'm speaking about these. It's a nice grub. And again, this is not like a Berkeley where, you know, you pull it and it just falls apart or something like this. I mean, this thing you're going to be able to pull, stretch, crack, you know, it's, that's it. it. They're not coming apart. You know, they're good quality grubs. And we were able to formulate it. When you put it without stink, the stink gets in there and it also coats it. And coating it is the trick. It will coat it. And the coat does stay on for about 15 minutes. And you're going to have to recoat them and stuff like that. But when you coat them, the scent will actually slowly come off and create that kind of chum slick. So if you're a big scent guy, this is the really the scent that you want. This is the formula that you really want. Because if you think about it, and I don't want to go too much because, you know, listen, Gulp has a proven track record. It's great. It catches fish. I've used it for years and years. You used it for years and years. I'm not going to tell you right now that, oh, you know, Gulp stinks. No, Gulp is great. We're just trying to give you some, an alternative so you don't have to, you know, mortgage your house, okay? Um, because these are less expensive, and they're, um, we believe they'll fish just as good. That's why we guarantee them. But gulp, you know, they absorb, right? We all, we all know they're kind of spongy, right? Well, guess what? When you put it in the water, what's it absorbing then? What's it absorbing? It's absorbing water. So after a few minutes, guess what your scent is? Guess what you're fishing with? Water. But uh, I'm not going to, you know, debate that now. Maybe we'll have a show about debating, okay? But, you know... Um, just something to think about, okay? Some common sense stuff. The Mardi Gras. We got custom uh, bucktails that go with the Mardi Gras. Again, uh, the Mardi Gras is a super grub. Block Island, uh, Jersey. Um, they crushed them out there. Um, seems to be really a, a cool one. We got the All Chartreuse. We threw teasers in here. These are those smaller ones that, you know, I mentioned that will go on the... Uh, the smaller the smaller bucktails these are those teaser bucktails and they go right on there i mean look how pretty this is i mean it's just i mean i'm not doing it you know sometimes i gotta have red on top i'm a little goofy like that but here i just want to put it on here just to show you on the presentation because it really is all about presentation when you're fishing right don't let anyone fool you it's all about presentation you want to everything look great and um look at that I have that as a teaser have that as a teaser. You tell me you're not going to get a fluke. Come on. Put that on top. Put that on a three-way. Come on. Do it. And you tell me you're not going to catch a fluke. I, it's not going to be I can tell you right now. I don't want to insult you. But it's not going to be the uh, the Lord's fault, okay? Because this stuff is uh, super. We're going to throw you in a bunch of hooks, okay? So you're going to have hooks. We're going to throw you in a squid bucktail. Uh, the squid bucktail is two and a half ounces. It's kind of, kind of cool. 
Some people run a little uh, squid on here, squid strip of some kind. They sometimes run one of these teasers off the back of it that we have. We also give you, because I prefer it, that's why we give it to you, because, you know, uh, listen, I'm a realist. If I like something, I, I let you know, and I do it. I, we give you a big Seminole hook. These come with these smaller hooks. I like the, the larger hook. So what I do is I pop the ring off. And what you do is slip this on, you crimp it on, and you got a swinging hook back here, uh, and you can put the larger grubs on there. So that is the gift that you guys are going to be getting if you go online right now. And I'm going to ramble off some names. And I am going to apologize now that I get these names wrong, okay, uh, if I pronounce them wrong. But um, I just want to mention some of these captains, okay, that are going to be at the workshop. These guys are not just speakers. You're not going to fall asleep. They're not coming in just talking. You know, these are experts. Um, John McMurray. John McMurray, you know, he's the, he's the tuna hunter. That's right. I named him the tuna hunter. Why is he the tuna hunter? John McMurray doesn't go out and put out a spread. And fish for tuna. He doesn't do it that way. You know, I know I do it that way, and probably ninety percent of America does it that way. But you know, he doesn't do it that way. John finds the tuna, and when he finds them, he's working jigs, he's working you know top water poppers and stuff like that for them. That's how he fishes for tuna. But you can only fish for tuna if you could find the tuna that way. Like, you have to know where they are. You know, you just can't go out and say, okay, I'm going to go out to the Bacardi. I'm just going to troll around. No, you have to find them. Tuna hunter. If you ever get out there, if you ever tuna fish, you don't want to miss this guy's workshop. He, he's going to be great. Absolutely great. Let's stay on tuna for a moment. Uh, we got two other guys going to touch tuna topics. Number one, Kirk Fay. Fishgack.com, F-I-S-H, look, I could spell fish, G-A-A-K.com. He has a cool website. He documents everything he does, every trip he goes out, the good, the bad. That's what I love about Kirk. Uh, Kirk Fay, he documents everything, and the guy just knows how to catch fish. I mean, he's, he writes articles about fish. He catches fish. He lives for fish. I think he, as long as he's breathing, he's fishing. That's how it is. Um Great guy. We are honored that he's going to be talking about the in sh the near shore, uh, my my bite and tuna bite, and how you don't have to go 20, 30, 40, 60, 70, 80 miles out there to catch tuna. That he'll show you how he's gotten tuna, you know, 15 miles, 20 miles in a my my, and and you know what you're looking for and how you're going to pick those up. Really super good. Uh, Tony Gatto. Tony Gatto is like you know. <sighs> Mr. Shark. Uh, he's going to go over shocking 101 and some advanced shocking techniques. Really good. I just spoke to Tony. I convinced him to do a spreader, a tuna spreader uh, workshop where he's going to explain to you, you know, how to position your spread, what you want in your spread, why you want things in your spread, what kind of colors should you start with. Uh, he's going to talk all about like kind of temperature breaks and stuff like that. And uh, it's just really, it's more like a science class, okay? Uh, and you're not going to get a better, you know, professor than Tony Gata. Uh, and then there's a guy, uh, one of probably the best striped bass fishermen that Long Island has had. I mean, we have some great ones. I mean, I can rattle off some names of some great striped bass fishermen. Uh, but there's one name just everybody knows. And when you're talking about great striped bass fishermen, you, you mention a name. It's Al Lorenzetti. Okay. He's going to be there. You're not going to find like Al Lorenzetti doing, you know, presentations at uh, some of these other venues uh, on the Northeast. You're not going to find, you know, Tony Gatta for the most part talking uh, and stuff like that. Uh, John, uh, you're not going to find them. How about uh, Kirk Faye? You're not, uh, Kirk Faye is going to go around. I, I had to beg Kirk Faye to come here, you know, to do this, okay? Uh, you're not going to find him, you know, doing these free, uh, free workshops uh, at other locations. So, uh, we go out and we try to find these guys. Al Evans Jr., the man who's won more fluking tournaments than I got fingers and toes, okay? I mean, at this stage, he's probably won more fluking tournament than I've got hair, okay? Because I'm, you know, I'm a little light on top. But it doesn't matter. I mean, he's caught so many fish and won so many tournaments and placed in so many tournaments. The man knows flukes. He makes his own bucktails, okay? Because he wants them to present in a certain way. Um, so how do you not want to learn from him? 
And where are you going to find him? Nowhere. Only at the All Pro Show. Okay. Uh, and we, we searched him out. Uh, wow. I'm going to mention a name here that, you know, Nick Savine. What can't Nick Savine catch? Matter of fact, maybe we'll have like a raffle. Uh, you got to put a name of a species that Nick Savine can't catch. Okay. You know, put it in the raffle and see if you got it. Because Nick Savine, he, he could catch a shell. I mean, the guy catches everything. I, if you put him out, you leave him out in the water long enough, he'll come back with a mermaid, this guy. He does it all. For us, he's going to talk about blackfish, a little bit, of, a little bit about sea bass, and a little bit of uh, trolling for stripers. Um, but Nick Savine is like, you know, come on. The guy is like, you know, sick. I mean, sick in a good way, okay? I mean, crazy good. Uh Tony Maha Jr. Wow, that name. Um, he's going to be going over their product line, what they have. He's not selling you stuff. Uh, he's just not going to be there saying, oh, buy this, it's great, it's this. No, he's going to show you, it's a, it's a workshop, on how to optimize uh, their products. Uh, I had a little bit of video uh, done, and I talked about some of the accessories that they sell. Uh, he's going to show you really on how to optimize that stuff and how to you know, hook up. I mean, that... He's another guy. He's got so many 50-pound fish, him and his family, that, you know, he could start an aquarium of a 50-pound sea bear, uh, striped bass, you know. So uh, you can't miss that workshop. And where does he speak? Like, where are you going to meet, you know, Tony Maha Jr., you know? Uh, great stuff. Um, oh, man. Nicole Gaines. I mean, uh, Nicole Gaines, what could you say? A fishing woman. I mean, fishing guru girl, right? I mean, she is the uh, first mate over on the Celtic Quest. She knows party boats. She's worked the Laura Lee, you know, famous. One of my favorite party boats out on out of Captree. Um, you know, she's going to be able to give you some tips and insight when you're going on party boats. You know, how to, you know, position yourself and a little tips and tricks on how you're going to... Uh, you know, have a more enjoyable trip and maybe catch a little bit more fish. She's also going to talk about surf casting because if she's not on a boat, okay, she's in the surf. She makes her own bucktails. Again, another one who wants a certain bucktail to look a certain way. She makes them. I mean, think about it. She makes them so she can go fishing. You know, crazy stuff. Um, Matthew Broderick, another I. Uh, don't let his youth fool you. He's a surf fisherman, uh, and he goes everywhere. He does it all. Uh, he's going to go over um, on how to uh, find the fish in the surf. Um, little techniques. Now, uh, it's something that you can't miss. Even if you're an experienced uh, fisherman, you've been surf fishing, you know, 20, 30 years, you still want to come out and see Matthew Roderick because the guy's been so successful. You know, just if you get learn just one thing, it's, it's worth everything. I mean, come on. Uh, of what we pay for these lures and stuff like that. Uh, Jason uh, Brunder, you know, another guy. I mean, he's just, you know, a fishaholic, an absolute fishaholic. Just knows how to get the job done. He participates on all the forums. You'll see it. He's someone's out there. If he's, uh, if he's not fishing, he's not breathing. That's how this guy is. And he's going to go over some great topics uh uh, in general, uh, including uh, some surf casting stuff. And I know that I'm forgetting somebody or probably two or three people, uh, other speakers, because um, I don't have a script here. I got nothing in the ears, you know. My wife would agree. I probably don't have much in my ears. Um, so I'm just going off memory. And I'm just thinking about the people that I can't wait to see, and I hope you can't wait to see them either. So listen, enough said. It's dragging too long. I'm excited about this. I want you to get excited about this. Come out, see Butch. Come out to the workshop. Grab your free gift, and I got a feeling there's got to be some surprises there too, okay? February 17th, February 18th, be there.